Alright, Swag Base Skater here with episode 6 of Let's Play Star Fox 64. If you destroy the satellite, we can go straight for Venom. Be careful, Fox. I'm on it. I just want to pause and say this is part 2 of the ripple effect, and if you didn't beat Star Wolf and all them later, they will show back up in this level, but since I did defeat them, I don't have to worry about them at this time. Uh... Basically, now I just have to take out uh, the satellite shields. Um, I have to cut out a part where I died. I didn't die on this level because it's hard or anything. I died because, like I said, I'm playing the Nintendo Wii version and the Wii remote died on me and had to get more batteries. So I cut that part out. But for the most part, it's pretty easy on this level. Not much you have to do. See these towers where the electricity is coming from? Just destroy the tops of those for the time being. Now normally this level will be a lot harder back on mission 3 you did not take out Star Wolf and all of them because you'd have to take out these towers, destroy the enemies, and fight Star Wolf and all of them this time. That's what I was saying by it's kind of a ripple effect. And if you didn't beat them here either then you would have to go to uh, the next level and fight them there too. Which makes it a lot harder because on the last level you're going to be under a hell of a lot of fire. But basically this match I want to say what's real interesting is the fact that uh, it is pretty simple, just take out the towers, and because of the ripple effect, I don't have to worry about uh, Star Wolf and all them. But earlier on Mission 3, after destroying the base and taking Star Wolf out, I kind of ensured they wouldn't come back, and I used the split path. And as you can see, split path led me to here. But there's multiple paths for this game, like I could have gone any which way at any which point from the beginning, which would have changed the course a bit, but I just showed you the specific path I felt like taking for this game. Because there are multiple paths, but ultimately you would end up basically at a similar level like this, doing the same thing. Okay, now you can see all the enemies that are coming out of the center because I took down the uh, electric field, which destroyed the force field around the core. So after destroying a few enemies, the core is going to pop up and I have to take out the core. And I'm going to die in like a few minutes because the Wii Remote just died on me and it didn't pause the game like I was hoping it would. So I'll just cut that part out for you. Okay, so now uh, this is where I restarted from the checkpoint because the Wii Remote died on me. But uh, basically it's not too hard, just kill the enemies around you. There's going to be a tower that's going to come up in the middle with a bunch of yellow squares on it. Just take out the squares, uh, destroy them. It's pretty easy. Uh, it's not too hard, I mean you're just under a little bit of fire. But the closer you get to destroying it, the tower itself is going to start shooting uh, lasers out of it. I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, basically as I go through this level, because there's not much I can really explain, I mean, it's pretty simple. I'll just explain to you how I'm going to do the final episodes for uh, Let's Play Star Fox 64. Gee, I've been saved by Fox. How swell. Fox, get this guy off me. You see that? I just saved Slippy in the last level. Here we are, and once again, he needs my help. Like I said, Slippy becomes a pain throughout this game. You're constantly having to help him, as you can see had to dedicate a level to save him, but I guess it's partially my fault because like I said I chose that path. So going down that path caused me to have to save him. I just wanted to show you the Landmaster. Even though there is another level where I can use the Landmaster, I just think that one was might have been the coolest and I didn't feel like having to fight the boss from the one with the uh, Landmaster on the other level. It's kind of annoying and that boss was a little more simple. But Basically, okay, here's how I'm going to do the last two episodes of Let's Play Star Fox 64 because it is a longer level as uh, you heard in the video in the beginning of this after taking out the satellite core we can go straight to uh, Venom. Well, the thing about Venom is it's broken down. Like first, I'm, uh, there's going to be a lot of fire. Then there's going to be a brief boss fight where I'm going to have to maneuver through like a maze. And then there's the final uh, battle with Andros and then there's some credits. But all that totals up to a lot of time and... You know, I'm just going to divide it into two separate episodes, and then I'll display it to you like that, I'll upload them. I'll have uh, the next episode, and then after that I'll have the Let's Play Star Fox 64 season finale. Uh, you know, there'll be some uh, credits that I'll basically highlight some key points of the game in the end. You can see the ending of the game, and hopefully you'll be able to just beat this game on your own, maybe you can take the same path if you want to, if you feel like taking a different path, by all means go for it. Oh, well, you know, I uh, forgot to explain a little star, uh, Rob will drop that star occasionally, it just gives you extra life, nothing too special. Basically this level is not really too hard, so, I mean, there's not much I can talk about on it, just destroy the satellite core, destroy the enemies around it. 
as you can see now, I've done some serious damage to the core, and now it's shooting lasers in every direction, so I'm making it a little harder to hit. Trying to hit the yellow square becomes a little difficult because I should have started from the bottom and gone up. I do recommend you take out the bottom ones first because when you get down to the last few, trying to fly in there and hit the bottom ones is kind of hard. It does a lot of damage to your life. And I'm sure it'd be a lot less stressful if you just take out the uh, bottom ones first and then at the end when you have a little bit of health left, you know, you can just take out the top. It's pretty easy. You don't have to worry so much about getting hit and dying. But uh, basically, you know, just watch me take out the uh, tower and that'll conclude this episode for the most part. Alright, this is the ending of Mission 6 and Episode 6 of the Let's Play Star Fox 64. Now it's headed to Venom for the final level. I'll catch you there for Episode 7 and then we'll start the season finale afterwards. Hope you enjoyed the series, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, Jet the Hawk 6. Venom, here we come.